Hey, it's Brian with Spicy Snafu. We bumped into Men in the Fray, and yeah. we're going to find out about what they're doing. Yeah, what's up, everybody? John Martin, founder of Men in the Fray, hanging out at MRAM with the family, ran into the Sna Spicy Snafu crew. So, what is it you guys do, and what's your drive? Okay, so Men in the Fray exists to build men to engage life. So, Men in the Fray comes from, everybody has their own fray, so when you step into the fray, you're stepping into, you're engaging. Everybody has their own, we just lead men to engage in their own lives. So, what was the, uh, what made you decide to start doing this? I grew up around a lot of passive men, a lot of guys that were okay with nine to five, hobby on Sunday, sleep, do it all again the next day, week after week. And so I'm biblically based, so I believe I'm a Christian, believe in a Christian worldview, believe in the word, Holy Spirit, God, the Father. And when you read the book, it's not in there. There's no passive men in there. The men right. that are noted, you look at David, you look at Joshua, you look at Moses, you look at Jesus himself, you look at Paul, they're all at it. They're all engaged. They're not passive. They're not just doing their thing, sitting back and living life and enjoying it. Yeah, they lattes. are doing that as well, but they're engaged day to day, week to week. They have a higher purpose. That's right. the point. We're leading guys to find that higher purpose right. and engage in life. So a guy who's interested in it, what, what should he expect? Like on a physical fitness level, on a, what, what can they expect as far as like a takeaway for them? Yeah, so our event in June here in uh, Grapeland, Texas, what you can expect is three days of training, of community, and great freaking food, man. We've got Wagyu that's gonna be grass fed. Uh, we're gonna have guys cooking it, smoking it. Um, everything's gonna be homemade, it's all high quality. But as far as the training and the PT portion, so we're gonna have training on Stop the Bleed. We're gonna have CQB, close contact combatives, and dynamic pistol and rifle courses. We've got guys coming in from SOF backgrounds, SWAT, uh, civvies, pro fighters. We've got a whole lot, of, you're gonna get a lot of dynamics, a lot of perspectives teaching these uh, different elements. And as far as a physical fitness level, at the end of the day, we're not just trying to induce suffering or induce stress, we're trying to pull something out of men. So if you're the guy that's gung-ho and always leading the pack, sit down, shut up, and tell somebody else to do it. Check your if ego you're the at guy, the door. Exactly, if you're the guy that doesn't like to say anything, you don't like to step into the spotlight, you don't like to take the lead, we're gonna kick you in the butt and make you go take the lead. Pull you out a little bit. Exactly. I like it, I like so it. So it's a team-based environment, so we're gonna have guys, You're gonna the same six guys that you walk in on day one with, those are the six guys you're gonna be with for, uh, for three days. So fitness level doesn't really matter as much. It's more so what your level of intensity is gonna be. What are you bringing to the table? Where's your headspace? What are you willing to put in to get out of it? So like a guy who has like knee problems, back mm -hmm. problems, or dietary issues, mm -hmm. he'll be able to fit in. Yeah, absolutely. That's, absolutely. that's amazing. You got five guys around you for that reason. If you're gonna be dragging around because of your physical limitations, that's literally the purpose. You're having to work as a team to get the team across the finish line for whatever that drill, whatever that training regimen, whatever that, um, Evolution is. It sounds like it'd be a good way for a guy with some uh, with limitations like that mm -hmm. to find a way to overcome it. Yes, you know, absolutely. and not feel useless because yeah. you know guys want to feel dangerous. Yeah, and sometimes you're not going to have get... thirty guys sitting at the finish line waiting on you to drag your ass right. over the finish line. Because at some point we no longer mm -hmm. feel dangerous, but yeah. we still want to, and they act yeah. out inappropriately. Mm -hmm. So I like the way yeah. it sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, as far as like, what, what what should a guy bring to something like this? So Does he need to bring ammo? Like, what's he need to bring? So. So we're offering ammunition pre-orders. If mm -hmm. you're flying in, you know, weight is always an issue with airlines and all that stuff. If we got ammo pre-orders, if you've got your own, bring your own. Um, kit, top to bottom, whatever you've got, bring it. If all you have is an EDC setup, bring it. If you've got everything all the way up to nods and thermals, bring those as well. We're gonna train with them if you've got them. That's amazing. Uh, so would y'all be cool with like the guys in a team, like, hey bud, try my nods? Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna That's have awesome. opportunities to run low light, uh, low light live fire, low light CQB. We're gonna have guys, uh, give you guys the opportunity to test those things. And so, a little bit more of the background where we're coming from. We didn't want to offer anything. You can go pay 200 bucks at a local range and take on a Saturday. Yeah. So we're offering force on force. We're offering hand to hand. We're offering live scenario based training. We've got guys coming in to be role players. Like they're just there to role play. That's awesome. So you can't, anything that we're doing on uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you, it's, it's things that you can't necessarily just go and take on any given Saturday. So, so we wanted to offer something unique. What should a guy do to prep for one of your events? Like, should he be force hydrating and like eating certain things? Well, it Any is gonna be Texas in June. So yeah. don't come without water and electrolytes. That's for dang sure. Like, common sense is not that common. <laughs> so if we can get it so. out in the open now, yeah. like, hey Bubba, drink water. Yeah, drink water. Uh, if you're a carb loader, carb load. Um, just really be prepared to take yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit somewhere that hasn't gone before. That's the, that's the whole point. That's amazing. We want you leaving, having engaged with the other guys around you having clarity where you can engage on Monday when you get home to your family, to your job or your business, whatever, you know, if you're an employee or you own, doesn't matter. Having fresh clarity to engage in that. Some, sometimes guys are just gonna have to, for an event like this, you might have to harden your heart a little bit and, yeah. and push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
So I think it's going to be yeah. amazing for a lot of people if they do go. Absolutely. So there's nothing nothing but air and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they just need to pull the trigger and try it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you just picked up your first handgun for the first time ever and you're just figuring out how to hold it. Or if you served 20 years, got out on retirement, it doesn't matter. Everybody's going to have a place. Right on. Right on. So experience level is Does not, not matter. critical. Yeah. We're going to push awesome. you with like skill sets. So how can guys find out more about you? And do you have any upcoming events other than the one you're doing here in Texas? Yeah, absolutely. So um, you can find us on Instagram or Facebook at Men in the Fray or at www.meninthefray.com. And Engage is actually a series of events. So we've got Engage Texas this June. We've got Engage Montana coming, in off, coming up in October. And we've got Engage Florida on the docket for February. Oh man. So, so. if you're real hardcore, hit every one of them. <laughs> Yeah, and each event is going to be unique. Um, here in Texas, we've got close quarters, we've got close contact combatives, dynamic pistol and rifle and medical. In Montana, where we've got an ODA guy coming in to teach land nav. At Florida, we're going to do some SEER stuff. So each event is going to be unique. So you're That's not going amazing. to get the same classes every single time. We're taking advantage of 3.2 million acres of Bureau of Land Management public land in Montana, and we're awesome. going to be running team on team land nav courses. So That's everything's awesome. unique. So if you would be interested in doing each one of those, it's mm -hmm. going to be a good training evolution mm -hmm. because you're going to deal with multiple environments. Mm -hmm. So yeah. th that would be something it's be I'd hot really in June. recommend. It's going to be cold in uh, October and February, and it's going to be hot again next June. Sounds like a good way to test your equipment. Absolutely. And your mentality. Yes. But you hey, don't know what you got until you test it. Right. Absolutely right. Because a lot of people will buy things because they've seen <laughs> it on the internet and they go for the name brand yeah. and not budget efficient. So mm -hmm. what we're after is budget efficient yeah. and combat effective. Yeah, go so, trudge around in it or come trudge around in it for six hours, train with it, fight in it, shoot in it, see right. how it works. You might take away a little more uh, morality than you left with. <laughs> so hey, thank you yeah. for your time. Absolutely. I look forward to seeing you guys at your event. Look forward to you guys being there.